It's a lifeline through a phone line. A 911 call box has been installed on a 12-mile stretch of rural road that has no cell service. News 13's Ingrid Alstead joins us there live. And Ingrid, this was a community's resolution to a very big problem. Yeah, that's right. You can hear the sirens behind me. We're at emergency management services right now in McDowell County. But, you know, most of us have cell phones on us at all times. And yes, they are for convenience, but also for safety. But there's an area here in McDowell County where these cell phones aren't going to work. You can't call for help, but a community has come up with a solution that could save lives. Jim Thompson spends most weekends in this peaceful RV park playing with patches. It's a big change from the 45 years he spent as a paramedic. But when he heard there was no cell service here, his emergency training kicked in. So they wouldn't be banging on doors at two o'clock in the morning trying to get emergency services. With no service, stranded motorists and accident victims along this 12 mile stretch of road had no way of calling for help. But now motorists along NC80 will spot this bright blue sign reading 911. It will lead them here to Sunnyvale Baptist Church. They'll find this emergency phone box. It's a direct line to the help they need. Cutting down on the time that the first responders can get here is very important. It was Thompson, along with other Sunnyvale Baptist Church members, who raised the money to pay for the call box. Phone is not a phone like you think of a phone. It's just a button you push. It, it goes direct to 911 call center. Church member and RV park owner Ron Johnston has lent his landline to those in need in the past. We have a lot of accidents. In 2013, there were 30 motor vehicle accidents along this road. And with a 15 to 20 minute response time to this location, every moment counts. You think it'll make a difference? We hope so. And church members are also learning first aid skills in case they need to help someone along the road there. And that box has been there for about two months now. It's been used three times, including just this past weekend. Reporting live in Marion, Ingrid Alstead, News 13.